up my dudes, Jesse Mails here with Backwater Fly Fishing today. Super cool, we're on the fifth episode of the Backwater Stories. If you haven't checked out the series, go check out the first four episodes where we cover the first time I caught tarpon, bull redfish, snook, <clears throat> and gator trout on the fly. This whole series is just about running through all my favorite catches, especially the first time I caught certain species and just telling the story, trying to stick as much to the facts as possible, even though it's a fish story. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the rainbow bass. Now, the rainbow bass is a super, super cool fish. It's just a giant cichlid that lives down here in Costa Rica. And for the most part, they're pretty difficult to catch on the fly now, just due to loss of habitat and over harvesting. And when I first came down, this was a fish that I was super focused on. I, I thought they were everywhere, but I didn't know the country. So it took some learning the water, getting out there and experimenting with different things to find out that these fish are actually pretty difficult to get now. Um, they weren't so much 25 years ago, supposedly they were everywhere. But <clears throat> since then, places like the Lake Arenal here, where there used to be thousands of them, it's been speared and netted. A lot of the river's been netted. Um, so there's a lot of problems with, with conserving this fish species here. So coming here thinking I was gonna catch them all the time, everywhere turned into, where am I gonna find these things? And what ended up happening was I caught one without even specifically targeting them. And it was a super cool trip actually. There's a video of it on YouTube um, and we fished for six days. I had a good friend Aaron come down from Texas and me, Aaron, Micah, and Mark ran around Costa Rica for six days trying to catch as many fish species as we could. And we ended up catching tarpon, rooster fish, jacks, rainbow bass, machacas, mojaras. I mean, <clears throat> I think it was like 11 different species, all from kayak, all, all just running around exploring different areas. Well, we were in this super cool spot and it was this long, long canal system. We were just paddling through random canals, casting at the bank with, with poppers. And I remember coming around this, this big tree limb that was hanging over and I had Mike in the back of the kayak. And I cast it real tight up under the branches. And it was one of those casts where like, you know there's gonna be a fish there once you make the cast because it's just too good of a cast to not catch a fish. And I punched this thing way back in there, a few pops and off the bank, you could see the wake, a few more pops. And by that time I already been like, Micah, check it out, check it out. And this thing just hammers the popper. I hooked up and I'm, my nerves are shaking cause I know what kind of fish it is. And this was my first time actually catching a, a big one, like a proper one. So I'm super pumped, I'm fighting this thing, and it's just pulling the kayak right into the shore. So Mike is in the back, back paddling the kayak, and I need someone to net it because, and luckily Mark was there and he has a net, and he's super fanatical about netting fish. So I'm like, dude, net this thing. So he comes scooting in on a kayak to net it, goes to net it with his little trout net thing. It won't fit in the net and he throws it essentially over his kayak so that the fish was on the other side of his boat. So now I'm fighting with my line going over his kayak, turning into this whole freaking mess. We ended up netting the fish and ended up landing him. And it was a big one. Um, it was probably six or seven pounds, which for this fish species is a pretty good size one. They do get up to upwards of 20 pounds from what I hear in Nicaragua in certain areas, remote areas. Um, not sure if those fish are catchable on fly, but for right now with the current fish populations and the current environmental situations we're facing here, that was a very, very good fish. And since then I have not caught another big one like that. So I think I was in Costa Rica for about two years when, when I caught that fish. And now I've been here for five years and I still haven't caught, I still haven't caught another one of that size. So. Super cool fish, super special fish. I was happy to be able to get some photos of it and and have it included in the video from the trip. I'll leave uh, a link to the video of that whole trip where we go for six days straight down in the video description. So anyways, guys, 
that was a rainbow bass. And if you haven't caught them, we do guide for them here, but just in the month of April. So if you want to come down to Costa Rica and try and catch some rainbow bass, let me know. Um, we actually do some really cool trips to some jungle lagoons and stay in a really rad cabin that I know, I mean, if you like fishing and you like remote areas, you'll love this place. So anyways, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you all later. Deuces.